Welcome to Loopopia, where we're building our own utopian homestead. One of the things we decided to do was we moved on to a raw land that we didn't really understand the sun patterns and we weren't sure where we wanted to lay out our garden because we wanted to live here a year or two before. So we put all of our trees in totes and containers. Now it worked out pretty good. All of our trees survived. But what do we do now that winter's approaching? Because if the trees were in the ground, they have a lot more root protection. So I'm going to show you how we set up our protection for the winter. What we've done is we've actually bunched all the totes and trees together in one spot. And most have gone dormant except a few of the apples and cherry. And what we do is the wind actually comes from this direction over here where we pile the all the uh, pine needles and leaves. So we took a bunch of like our roost out stuff and threw it on top. Let me show you why. All right, so the wind actually comes from this side. So we banked this pretty high and we will finish by breaking pine needles and leaves and just burying everything. Now, some of the trees are sticking up, but what we're concerned about is since the totes are, you know, just a little millimeter of plastic, it really exposes the roots to the elements. So what we're gonna do is pile this and then I'll actually put tarps against the direction of the wind over this. So this takes a long time. Hopefully next year we figured out where we wanna plant these things and we won't have to go through all this. But if you find yourself in the same situation with containers, you can just bury everything with heavy, heavy mulch. And a lot of times that'll get you through. The other thing we did is anything really sensitive, like we have some, um, orange and grapefruit citrus and uh we moved those containers into the little hoop house greenhouse thing and that is heated by black water barrels so uh, that should keep them warm enough because we don't have power out here like i've seen um i like this channel the millennial gardener he does a lot of cool stuff but he uses electric for some stuff so he'll he'll keep his winter plants alive using christmas bulbs and if you live near electricity, that's great, but that's a huge cost for me because you can't use LED ones. You got to use the old school incandescent and that eats up a lot of solar power. So we are using strictly the sun with uh, black fabric and barrels and everything we can find in there to keep it warm. I hope that helped in case you find yourself in the same predicament that you can just leave these outside if uh, it's if you live in really, really high north climate, you're gonna to have to really make this mulch thick. You know, you can bury this stuff and wrap it in tarps and it, it should be okay. Uh, when I was in New Hampshire, we did something similar like this and most everything made it, not everything, but most. And obviously putting it in the ground is the best thing and mulching really heavy. But uh, if you don't have time for all that and I don't know where these, where I want these trees yet, this will be uh, a good decision. So I hope that helped. Check out uh, if you're gonna buy anything Please use our Amazon link. YouTube has blacklisted our channel so we don't make any money. And uh, that is the only way we're making money anymore. So if you want the channel, please go shopping through the Amazon link first and then uh, click whatever you need to click. And it doesn't even matter if you buy the products we, we show. If you buy anything else, we, we still get a little thank you money from Amazon and it really goes a long way. So thank you for doing that. I appreciate that. If you want to see all of our uncensored and uh, blacklisted stuff that YouTube doesn't let us let you watch. Uh, it's over on Brighteon and Odyssey. So you can find the link below. Love you guys. Hang in there.